The future of 3D printing is here. This is the Snapmaker U1, a Core XY printer with four separate tool heads. This enables multicolored and multi-material 3D printing with lightning fast color changes and completely eliminates wasting filament when switching colors. This saves you both time and money and gives incredible 3D prints with no chances of color mixing. The U1 was the largest Kickstarter in Kickstarter history, with more than 20,000 backers raising more than $20 million. So let's see if the U1 is worth the hype. This isn't a full review just yet, Yet, but more of a first impressions deep dive. What has surprised me right out of the box, what actually impressed me, and what has me really curious as I keep testing. From the four tool head snap swap system to its fast core XY motion and clipper powered brains, the U1 has already given me a lot to talk about. So welcome back to Hoffman Engineering, let's jump in and take a look at what this machine is like on day one. Before we begin, this Snapmaker U1 was purchased with my own money. I backed the original Kickstarter and my unit just arrived. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in anything you see in my my videos, from printers, materials, or accessories, you can use those links for the latest discounts and to help support our channel. We appreciate it. The U1 is a filament-based 3D printer by Snapmaker. The star of the show is its snap swap system. This uses four separate tool heads, each with its own extruder and hot end, connected to its own spool of filament. To change colors, the U1 simply puts away the tool head it just finished with and swaps over to the new tool head. It then resumes printing. This has some amazing advantages. First of all, it makes color changes fast. Swapping tool heads only takes 5 seconds. Second, Second, because each tool head has its own hot end, it completely eliminates the need for purging old filament. This saves a ton of material that otherwise would have been wasted, and it contributes to the lightning fast 5 second color changes. So let's do a quick comparison between the Snapmaker U1 and another multicolored Core XY printer like the Anycubic Cobra S1. On the Anycubic Cobra S1, this dual-colored 3D Benchy took 9 hours and 23 minutes to print. And while the 3D Benchy weighs 10.9 grams, it produces an astonishing 183 grams of poop while purging all that extra filament between color changes. And this is compared to the Snapmaker U1, which printed in just 1 hour and 40 minutes, and it wasted only 10 grams of filament for the Prime Tower. That means the Snapmaker U1 printed 5.5 times faster, while wasting 18 times less filament. The final advantage of having separate tool heads is that there is no color bleeding when switching colors. With older systems, you have to make sure that you purge enough filament so that the old color is completely gone. Otherwise, you get color mixing. And some colors are much harder to purge completely. See this Fuecoco print on the Anycubic Cobra 3 V2. The black filament didn't completely purge when switching to white, and you can see the obvious bands in the prints. However, looking at the same print from the Snapmaker U1, and you can see that each color change is crisp. There's no chance of white and black mixing thanks to the separate tool heads. Moving on from the separate tool heads, the U1 is a Core XY printer. These printers use two stationary stepper motors at the back, which work together with an intricate belt loop to move the hot end around in the X and Y axes. This Core XY motion system, combined with the U1's lightweight carbon fiber X axis rails, allow print speeds of up to 500 millimeters per second. This printer is flying at max speeds while not missing a beat. The build area is also larger than usual, with a print volume of 270 by 270 by 270 millimeters. This is larger than many other Core XY printers and is great to see. The U1 has enclosed sides with a clear plastic back panel and a clear glass front door. The top is open, but Snapmaker does sell an optional lid to make the U1 a fully enclosed printer. The filament spools sit on spool holders, two on each side. The U1 has a camera built in, which enables real-time monitoring, time lapses, and a variety of AI monitoring tools. I haven't had the chance to try out the AI-powered spaghetti or print failure detection yet, but I'll be sure to cover that in my full review. Be sure to subscribe to Hoffman Engineering so you don't miss out on the full review coming in a few weeks. But the camera is an HD 1080p camera, and the time lapses it creates look great. I am impressed. The U1 is powered by Clipper, a modern firmware with advanced features. Features like input shaping and pressure advance give high quality prints without ringing or ghosting artifacts. And using the U1's Wi-Fi connection, you can connect to the machine remotely, using the fluid interface to control the printer or start and stop jobs wirelessly. I love having direct connection to Clipper configs, and it gives you a lot of flexibility for those of us that like to tinker with the machine. There are a ton of other features, too many to go into detail in this first look. But the U1 walks you through everything with the initial setup. It runs through tool head calibration, which probes the nozzle of each tool head to make sure that all four will align perfectly. Then it runs through auto bed leveling for the perfect first layer, and does a frequency sweep on the X and Y axes, which uses
uses the built-in accelerometers to calibrate the input shaping, all without you having to lift a finger. So with only a few dozen hours of printing under my belt, I am extremely impressed by the Snapmaker U1. Watching it switch colors in literal seconds is mesmerizing, and it's caught the eye of everyone that I've shown it to. And the resulting prints look amazing. I haven't had any print failures yet. Each print has looked very good. Color changes are clean thanks to the separate tool heads, and the only wasted filament are the priming towers, which is awesome for the environment and for my wallet. I've had a great first experience with the Snapmaker U1, and if it continues to be as rock solid as it has been, this printer could be a game changer for the 3D printing industry. The Snapmaker U1 is on pre-order for $849 US dollars at the time of recording. They are shipping to their Kickstarter backers now, with new orders expecting to be shipped near the end of March 2026. So if you are interested, use my link in the description and get your place in line. A 4 tool head printer for under $1000 is incredible, and about half the price compared to other competitors like the Prusa XL or the Bamboo Labs H2C. So I'm going to be spending the next month really putting the U1 through its paces for my full review. I want to do a deep dive into all of these features, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in that review. At the time of recording, I've only done a few hundred tool changes, so I'm very curious how they hold up over time. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.